Oh, I, I'm, I, I doesn't disturb me at all. That the, uh, I'm, I'm always believe in talking to my op opponents and make, staying friends. I mean, you know, it is, so the people I disagree with most strongly, I'm actually quite friendly with, and, and there's no, the, the, it doesn't make, it doesn't, it doesn't disturb me if they disagree with me. Well, I don't know. It changes from week to week. I mean, I, what I've noticed is there's been a strong increase in skepticism and just in the last couple of weeks. And uh, I suppose it has something to do with all these snowstorms we've been having. I, I don't know, but um, certainly I've seen uh, the politicians becoming much more skeptical just recently. And that, of course, I welcome. That, that I think that that that's actually means they're rec recognizing the way things are. Well, there are all sorts of ways. There was a, 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 a couple of farmers in Minnesota. I was just reading about who decided to change from feedlots to grass. Was they're raising beef? That these are farmers who are just uh, raising cows for beef and a certain amount of milk as well. And they decided to switch from f feedlots, which is, of course, the, the fashionable way of raising cows. You keep them on a very crowded feedlot and feed them on corn. So you're growing corn to feed to the animals. Instead of that, you put them out to grass, but you manage the grass in a clever way with moving fences around. So they actually eat the grass much more evenly. It turns out this pays, and, and uh, it, it's, uh, they're doing extremely well. Just going back from feedlots to grass, and it has a big effect on the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere if, in proportion to the area that they're using. So it means that if the whole of the Middle West would do this, it would make a very substantial difference to the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And, and so that kind of, that's the sort of practical thing you can do, just sort of managing the land more intelligently. And these, it's, it's rather like building dikes around New Orleans. I mean, it's, it's, it's not all that spectacular, but it actually works. And so changing from feedlots to grass, I think it's sort of, it's not, it doesn't solve the whole problem, but it solves a certain chunk of the problem. And there are other things you can do. Just doing less plowing makes a huge difference. Plowing is one of the main causes of carbon going into the atmosphere. As you, you expose the soil to the atmosphere, it means the carbon gets oxidized and becomes carbon dioxide and floats off into the atmosphere. So if you can farm without plowing, it actually helps. And it uh, doesn't matter how much coal and oil you're burning, it still helps. <laughs>